accounting cycle solved problems and lectures on accountancy in this session we will learn about accounting bookkeeping the difference between accounting and bookkeeping double entry system of bookkeeping advantages of double entry system of bookkeeping accounting cycle various steps in the accounting cycle 1 journalizing 2 posting transaction 3 trial balance 4 adjustments 5 adjusted trial balance 6 financial statement final accounts 7 closing entries and 8 post closing trial balance difference between accounting and bookkeeping although accounting and bookkeeping are two different things but normally in small business units both the duties are performed by the same person so the difference between accounting and bookkeeping is ignored accounting where the work of bookkeeper ends the work of accountant starts for an accountant it is required that he must not only highly educated but also must be highly trained and experienced the accountant aggregates the records of bookkeeper and judges the profit and loss of the business the accountant assists the management in developing the future plans he also points out what expenditure should be controlled and what should be expanded to maximize the profit he produces different statement after the analysis for the different institutions according to the requirements of these institutions in this way he plays key role in the management of the business the accountant plays the role of coordinator he organizes the data collected by the bookkeeper in desired and prescribed manner bookkeeping bookkeeping means to write the business transactions in the books of accounts the person who performs this duty is called bookkeeper or accounts clerk higher education in account is not necessary for the bookkeeper because he works under an accountant who directly supervises the bookkeeper The work of bookkeeper is of clerical nature. He produces the records in routine. He has not to play and apply the complex techniques. Double entry system of bookkeeping. The first systematic presentation of double entry system of bookkeeping appeared in 1494, two years after Columbus discovered America. Double entry system of bookkeeping is a complete and comprehensive system. in which the complete information regarding the transaction is brought into the records in a very result oriented manner the rationale behind this system is to record each change in the accounts separately because a single transaction affects more than one account the double entry system is based on the principle of duality which means that all events of economic importance have two aspects effort and reward sacrifice and benefit source and uses that offset or balance each other in double entry system each transaction must be recorded twice in such a way that the total amount of debits and total amount of credits equal each other because of the way it is designed the system as a whole is always in balance and therefore are always under control advantages of double entry system of bookkeeping the advantages of the double entry system are as under one in this system both affected accounts are recorded immediately two businessman can easily get complete and reliable information three the businessman can get up to date information regarding debtors and creditors four the in the books of accounts not only sale and purchase but also all the expenses losses profits assets liabilities are recorded so the businessman can easily know the profitability and financial position of the business 5 future plans can be made to minimize the risk and maximize the profit 6 in the double entry system all the debits are equal to all the credits or at the time of totaling if total debits are not equal to the credits it means there is an error by this way an error can be detected and corrected it is the major advantage of this system accounting cycle the eight steps of accounting cycle are summarized as below 1 journalizing 2 
posting transaction 3 trial balance 4 adjustments 5 adjusted trial balance 6 financial statement final account 7 closing entries 8 post closing trial balance accounting cycle 1 journal when a transaction took place it is recorded same day in a book called journal the purpose of this book is to avoid any omission in records the process of recording of the transaction in this first book is called journalizing transactions are recorded chronologically thus it is also called chronological book it is also called day book because all the transactions of the day are recorded in, the, in this book special journals are used to record recurring transactions these include a sales journal purchase journal cash receipts journal and a cash disbursements journal transactions that cannot be accommodated by a special journal are recorded in the general journal accounting cycle 2 ledger in second step of accounting cycle the amounts that appear in the various journals are transferred to the organization's ledger a procedure called posting a ledger is a book having one page for each account in the organization's financial structure the page for each account shows its debits on the left side and credits on the right side so that each account's balance that is the net credit or the net debit amount can be determined at the end of the accounting period the process of transferring entries from journal to ledger is called posting the ledger gives detailed information about all the transactions of a specific account in addition to the general ledger variety of subsidiary ledgers is used to provide information in greater detail about the accounts in the general ledger for example the general ledger contains one account showing the entire amount owed to the enterprise by all its customers the subsidiary ledger breaks its amount down on a customer by customer basis with a separate subsidiary account for each customer subsidiary accounts may also be kept for the wages paid to each employee for each building or machine owned by the company and for amounts owed to each of the enterprise creditors accounting cycle 3 trial balance posting data to the ledgers is followed by listing the balances of all the accounts and calculating whether the sum of all the debit balances agree with the sum of all the credit balances because every transaction has been listed once as a debit and once as a credit this determination is called a trial balance this procedure and those that follow it take place at the end of the fiscal period once the trial balance has been prepared successfully the bookkeeping portion of the accounting cycle has ended accounting cycle for adjustments once bookkeeping procedures have been completed the accountant prepares adjustments for the transactions involving more than one accounting period the following are the most common circumstances that require adjustments one accrued revenue for example interest earned but not yet received two accrued expense wages cost incurred but not yet paid three unearned revenue earnings subscription revenue that had been collected in advance four prepaid expenses expiration of a prepaid insurance premium five depreciation recognizing the cost of a machine as expense spread over its useful economic life six inventory regarding the cost of goods sold on the basis of a periods purchases and the change between beginning and the ending inventory balances and receivables recognizing bad debt expense on the basis of expected uncollected amounts accounting cycle 5 adjusted trial balance once the adjustments are calculated and entered in the ledger the accountant prepares an adjusted trial balance one that combines the original trial balance with the effect of the adjustments with the balances in all the accounts thus updated financial statements are then prepared in step 6 the balances in the accounts are the data that make up the organization's financial statements accounting cycle 6 financial statements are final accounts final accounts are financial statements 
or the end product of an accounting cycle. These are four types of financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, statement of changes in owner's equity and cash flow statement. The income statement shows the profitability of the business, the balance sheet shows the financial position of the business, statement of changes in owner's equity shows the changes in the capital of the owners and cash flow statement shows the cash position of the business, it clearly states the source of cash and the uses of cash. Accounting Cycle 7 Closing Entries This procedure involves a series of bookkeeping debits and credits to transfer sums from income statement accounts into owner's equity accounts. Such transfers reduce to zero the balances of non-cumulative accounts so that these accounts can receive new debit and credit amounts that are related to the activity of the next business period. Accounting Cycle 8 Post-Closing Trial Balance A post-closing trial balance is a listing of all balance sheet accounts containing non-zero balances at the end of a reporting period. It contains balances of permanent accounts, assets, liabilities and equities. Only because temporary accounts, revenue expenses have already been closed and their balances moved into the retained earnings account as a part of the closing procedure. With this, we understood all the aspects of the accounting cycle and let us remember and put this into practice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel Accounts Lobby, Solve Problems and Lectures on Accountancy.